The perfect thing to use is a pair of underpants. And I'm going to cut them apart here at the side seams. You can always sew them back together when you're finished. So I'm just going to cut this seam open like that. So this is what you'll have. You'll have a piece that looks like this. The best fabric to use is something that has stretch in both directions. I found this shirt and I'm going to use it to make this bathing suit. Okay, so I cut it open at the side seam. And so I've got this nice flat fabric to work with. Place your pattern on your fabric and you'll have to stretch these two so that you'll have the proper width. So stretch out the elastic and pin it. Like that. Cut out the pattern, leaving approximately a half an inch all the way around all of the seams. Okay, I've pinned the side seams together and I'm going to make a very narrow seam and then I'm going to zigzag it. If your fabric is not long enough that you can have all of this in one continuous seam, you could make a seam here in the front or there in the back, which works much better than having a seam here as one separate piece of fabric. If you don't have a zigzag machine, simply make two rows of straight stitches. Turn down the waist section and the leg sections and then top stitch. And don't forget to somewhere leave a small opening for passing the elastic through. Like that, and I'm using a very small zigzag stitch so that this will be able to stretch without breaking the thread. Like that. I've sewn a small zigzag stitch along the legs and along the top. Cut a piece of elastic that fits comfortably around your waist with a safety pin. Pass the elastic through the casing. Sew the two ends of elastic together. Pass elastic through the leg sections as well.